The U.S. government is stopping fluoride in water because they think it lowers IQ in children. So in 1945, the CDC decided that they would fluoridate a lot of communities' water. Why? Because they found that fluoride prevented tooth decay. Fluoride can reduce tooth decay in many ways. Remineralization, it makes the surface of the tooth stronger and more resistant to bacterial attack. So ultimately, for many reasons, fluoride was introduced. As a matter of fact, most consumer toothpaste has fluoride in it. When you go to the dentist, they give you a fluoride rinse. So what are the main reasons why they reduced fluoride or took it out of the water? One, neurological effects, lower IQ in children. There are studies that prove this. Two, endocrine. That means it disrupts your hormonal function. That can affect things like mood, irritability, long-term systemic health, and lastly, kidney function. The filtration system of your body can be affected by fluoride. So where do we stand? Does fluoride improve remineralization and prevent tooth decay? Or are the side effects of fluoride too damaging to keep it in the water? Dental professionals, what do you think? Stitch this reel with your thoughts. Fellow Canadians, what does this mean for us? Well, most of Canada does not have fluoridated water. The GTA and all surrounding areas do. Do a quick Google search and you'll see if your community has fluoridated water or not.